What's up guys? Welcome to Unlimited Freedom. Today I'm going to be talking about Novatech and some of the other platforms because this is going to be a Q&A, okay, where I'm going to directly respond to some of the comments that you guys have been leaving on my videos and on my channel. Now, first and foremost, guys, I'm not going to be able to get to every single person's comment, okay? So if I don't read your comment or if I don't respond to your comment, don't be discouraged by that. Just recognize that hey, I just had a lot that I went through and I randomly picked these, so, and I'm going to continue to do that, okay? So if your comment didn't get uh, talked about on this one, perhaps we'll talk about it on a future Q&A video, depending on how well this video does, guys, okay? So uh, if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you hit the like button because it helps me out a ton when you like my video and when you subscribe to the channel. Helps me out in the algorithm. Helps me get this message out to more people. Helps us all engage more as a community. So it's really a beneficial thing for everybody. So uh, please do me that solid, like the video, uh, you know, feel free to drop me any kind of comment. I don't care if it's a positive, a negative, a question, it doesn't really matter, okay? Because the more we talk about things, the more we open up things, the more uh, deep knowledge we're gonna get and the closer to the truth we will all get. So discussion is very important and if you know me, then you know I never shy away from a tough question. Uh, so. Having said that, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, and I am not your financial advisor, okay? I'm just a guy on here talking about what I do in this space, in these platforms, in a lot of different crypto platforms, as well as in the stock market, in real estate, in uh, trading, fast-paced trades. Guys, we do a lot here at Unlimited Freedom, okay? We got a lot to talk about, right? So having said that, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not telling anybody what to do. If you like any of the opportunities that I talk about on here, the links are in the description. So all you got to do is go to the description, find the opportunity that you like that I was talking about on the video, either click the link in the descri description or copy and paste it into your browser. That way you can go directly to the source, you can do your own due diligence, and you can learn about the program that I'm talking about. You can learn more about it, and if you wanna sign up, hey man, you can sign up, welcome to the team, right? If you don't wanna sign up, no pressure, okay? No pressure at all. What we're doing is we're just cracking into it, we're digging deep, and uh, we're just, you know, we've got our feet in a lot of different places. Right, and that's important because diversity is important. Diversifying is important in finance. Right, you never want to have all your eggs in the same basket, guys, because it's just it's just too much. I mean, it's just bad risk management to put all of your eggs in the same basket, as they say, or to put all of your crypto in one place. Just bad risk management, guys. I mean, look what happened to FTX. Right, people lost a ton because it turns out that they were just uh, phony baloney and you know, people lost their crypto, right? So you never want to have it all in the same place, okay? Uh, hopefully that makes sense. Also, as always, never invest anything that you can't afford to lose, okay? Don't be coming on here telling me you mortgaged your house to get a Vortic United package. Don't tell me that, man. I don't want to hear that, right? Don't take uh, your rent money to the casino, okay? Just, just be smart about what you're doing, okay? So let's crack into some of these questions. All right, uh, number one. Your logic about them, and they're, they're talking about Novatech here, okay? Your logic about Novatech leaving the U.S. is incorrect, and you need to just calm down, okay? One state, California, in the U.S. versus Canada and Russia, okay? Hawaii and Montana, for example, were one of the five states that were established since the beginning to not be legal for operations, so relax, bro, LOL. All right, so this is this 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 comment here is kind of packed with a few things, so I wanna unpack it a little bit. And first and foremost, you know, let me, let me just get to your exhortation to relax. I'll try, man, I'll try, but the thing is, I this is my personality, guys. So a lot of you guys uh, understand that sometimes when I get excited, my voice goes up, right? I get, you know, sometimes I get a little bit intense, right? It's my personality, right? It's just, it's just the way that I am. Um, and I jokingly said, well, maybe I shouldn't have had that extra cup of coffee that day. But you know, at the end of the day, guys, everybody has different personalities. And if you like my personality, if you like, you know, how I, you know, present things and how I talk about things, then that's great. You know, I, I want you to be part of the, you know, part of the program here. But you know, if you don't, 
hey man, that's cool too. There's always going to be somebody else out there who's going to have a more, you know, you know, baseline, calm, you know, type of personality. But when I talk, I get excited, okay? I'm Italian, okay? If you haven't noticed, right? And and we talk with our hands, we get excited, we're very, you know, we're very expressive people. We're a very expressive people, okay? So uh so that's just me. Uh, your logic about them leaving the U.S. is incorrect. So what I said about Novatech leaving the U.S. is I said that they that might be a smart move if they're continuing to get harassed by regulators. Okay, Novatech, as you know, is a worldwide company. And I guarantee you there's going to be countries that they can operate in that are not going to give them any problems. Right. So what I'm talking about when I say that is I'm talking about the possible future of Novatech. That's just one possible outcome. It doesn't mean that that's what I think is going to happen or that's what I believe is going to happen. But what I'm talking about there is if this company is going to continue into the future, they're going to have to develop a plan, right, to deal with the regulators because you mentioned on here which is true you've got the california state right you've got canada and russia which also you know started legal uh, or threatened to start legal proceedings against Novatech if they didn't leave and you've got hawaii and montana for example which were one of the five states that were established since the beginning to not be legal for operation okay that's true so how are we going to address that Right. Let's take it to the next logical conclusion. How is Novatech going to address that when a state says that they're not legal to operate there? OK, what if more states start to say that? Right. What if we get some United States regulation? Because, you know, one thing about the United States is there's a lot of regulation in the United States. Right. And the current administration has talked about regulating cryptocurrency and crypto platforms. This thing that happened with FTX. It's only going to fuel the fire of people who want to do more regulation. So, I don't think it's necessarily incorrect. I think that it is one approach that Novatech could take into the future to stay alive as a company. But they got to do something. They got to do something. OK, you can't just be getting regulated out, regulated out, regulated out, regulated out. And you're quiet. You're silent. You're quiet. You're silent. When in the meantime, you know that your haters are not going to be quiet. You're out, the critics are not going to be silent. Right. So, you know, I understand uh, the, you know, the, the feeling of wanting to not seem like you're on the defense. Well, look, man, sometimes you just got to play defense, as you know defense wins ball games okay and playing a good defense can win you the game right whether you're talking about life or sports it's the same thing okay so uh yeah so yeah it, i mean it ultimately it might be incorrect they might not need, i hope they don't need to leave the united states but hey they might right and and so that's what i'm saying there now as far as needing to just calm down goes you know once again that's just my personality guys i, I don't think that you know, uh, I don't think that I was created to be a calm type of person all the time, right? I'm a very expressive person, right? So sometimes I'm going to get excited, right? And if that bothers you, then, you know, you're welcome to uh, watch it, watch somebody else's channel, okay? But I hope that you don't do that, of course. Uh, but if that's what you want to do, then, then cool. All right, so that's that one. Let's get into the next comment. Okay, and this one says that Dap Dunbar was sitting with Cynthia one on one about these bonuses and issues. This is again, this is about Novatech. I wouldn't worry, bro, just my opinion. Okay, so let's crack into this a little bit. If you don't know who Dap Dunbar is, he is like a super affiliate with Novatech. And then you've got Cynthia, who is the CEO of Novatech, right? So this super affiliate was sitting down with the CEO one on one about these bonuses and issues, okay? Um, I wouldn't worry, bro, just my opinion. Okay, yeah, cool. I'm, I'm not really worried, right? But what I am is I am uh, trying to be objective, right? Now, when I'm trying to be objective, I have to point something out here. Now, let's let's talk about Dap uh, Dunbar for a second. This guy's a super affiliate with Novatech, and he is, you know, 
Novatech is a uh, direct sales company, right? So it's a, uh, I know they don't like to say that they're an MLM, but the business style, it's a multi-level marketing company. And in the multi-level marketing companies, you get a cult of personality, right, that develops. I've seen it in every single MLM that I've been involved in. I've seen it in, th you know, companies that I've been affiliated with, and I personally don't like it. Yeah, I don't like the hype. I don't like the, the, the you know, putting people on a pedestal. I think that that is wrong. And I think that it just shows a low value to put somebody else up on a pedestal like that. Now, having said that, I'm not hating on Dap Dunbar, guys. I'm not hating on Cynthia, okay? I, I got love for everybody who's involved, right? I don't have any problem with these people personally. But what I will say is I've watched some of Dap Dunbar's videos, and he is not going to be an objective critic of Novatech because he is a true believer, right? He is sold out to Novatech. Not saying that that's a bad thing, okay? I've got a lot of good close friends that are true believers, right, in Novatech. So they can't criticize it. And they can't, you know, the, 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 they're like on the Titanic, right? And the Titanic is sinking, it's going under, and they're going, oh, oh nothing wrong here. Do, 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 do. And I just, I'm not that way. I can't be that way. I will never be that way. And I'm never going to, you know, not call something out when I think that it's bad or I think that it's wrong or I think that it's a red flag, right? You're going to hear me call it out. It, it, it just is what it is. And personally, the fact that Dap Dunbar was sitting with Cynthia doesn't say a whole lot to me because the only thing he's going to do is praise her. And the only thing that she's going to do is praise right back to him. So they're going to be having this, this you know, lovey-dovey easy meeting. And, you know, it just doesn't impress me, man. That doesn't impress me. Now, she sat down with somebody who really had some concerns and some criticisms, and, and she actually addressed those. That would impress me. Okay, but you're not going to impress me by, you know, meeting your, your top number one cheerleader. You know, that's like surrounding yourself with yes men, right? That's, that's, that's not going to work. Okay, let's talk about the true believer thing. All right, listen, guys, look. Here's the problem with true believers. Is that, unfortunately, it doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes true believers turn into make-believers. Right? So you start out with true belief, but then you, you, you get your your signals crossed and you can't tell when you've crossed over into make belief right and that's what we used to do when we were children we would play make believe right we would play like you know i'm you know whatever you were into i'm a power ranger or whatever it is you were we were into when you were a kid i don't know what whatever was out at that time you would make believe you play with your friends you make believe okay um i i uh you know i'm a fan of uh, RPGs. I like to play uh, role-playing games, and role-playing games are make-believe. But you don't, you don't mix up the make-believe with reality, right? So you, the question that you have to ask yourself, and the only person who can answer this is you, is am I a true believer or have I turned into a make-believer? Am I making things up and believing in them? Or am I believing in the truth? So I think that's a question we should all ask ourselves from time to time. Hey, I've been guilty of it, right? I've been guilty of make believe. I make I I, I had make, did a lot of make believe. You know, in the in time dating, you know, you make believe that this girl is something really special when she's actually just not, right? Um, you know, you get into a you get a dream when you're a young man, like a lot of people want to grow up and become a firefighter or they want to grow up and become president and you get this thing of, I believe I'm going to do that. And it turns out you're really, it's just make believe. It wasn't really true. God had a different path for you, right? And so are you a true believer or are you a make believer, right? And when you talk about Dap Dunbar, that's a true believer, right? Who is such a true believer that He's not, I haven't seen him talk about any red flags, right? And that, that in itself to me is a red flag, all right? I got to see both sides of the story. You got to give me both sides of the story because I'm going to investigate, 
right? I'm not going to go over here and just hate on Novatech and just pray that they fail and want them to fail and just want them to be a Ponzi scheme. No, I'm not going to do that. But I'm also not going to go to the other side and say, hey, now's a great time to sign up, guys, because it's not, right? Now is actually not a good time to sign up. We need to see what happens with, you know, first off, they got to get caught up on their bonus uh bonus withdrawals. Then they got to get back into the trading account withdrawals, which is not, we're not going to know if that happens until the end of April. So just in my opinion, guys, there's other things that you could be getting into right now that, that, that are going to be a better bet at the moment. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense, guys. So uh, let's get down to the next one. Okay. This was a question about the check ma matching bonus with Novatech. Okay. And the question is the check matching uh, is 5% of downtime ROI, right? So what I think they meant is they're asking if the checking, the check matching bonus is 5% of your downline. And for that, I'm gonna actually go to my old presentation and we're gonna look at the lifetime check matching bonuses. Now what the check matching bonuses are, guys, is that um, the, uh, you know, the people under you, as their ROI grows, you get a check matching bonus on that ROI. So if somebody made $100 and they're one level under you, you get $5, okay? Because it's a 5% check matching bonus. So if they grew their account by $100, you get a bonus of $5, right? So as the accounts grow, these bonuses become bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, if, you're, if, the, if your person is growing their account $1,000 a week, you're getting $50 a week on that one account alone. And that goes for every single level one account that you have under you. All right. So let me go over the numbers. It goes down nine levels. So on the first level, the people directly under you, you get a 5% lifetime bonus on their trading profits every week. So if they made 100, you make five. If they made 1,000, you make 50. So on and so forth off of that one client that enrolled under you. Now, if somebody enrolls under them, right? That's the second level down. You didn't actually enroll that client. Your client enrolled that client, right? But you still get a bonus, right? You get a 2% bonus. Now, if somebody enrolled under that client, now you're getting into the third level down. Now you definitely didn't do any work, right? You just, just you, you, your client enrolled a client and that client enrolled a client, but guess what? You still get a bonus. You get 1% of that person's trading profits every week. Same with level five, 1%. Now, when you get down to level six, it turns into 0.5%. Level 7, 0.5%, level 8, 0.25%, level 9, 0.25%, and it goes down nine levels. So you enroll a person, that person enrolls a person, down, 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 nine levels deep, and you're still getting a trading profit lifetime check matching bonus, okay? Can you see how from a marketing perspective, right, if you're a marketer, that that should be flashing some 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 lights in your head. You know, that should you should be getting some ding 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 ding. You know, that that should be like that should be exciting. Okay? If you're a marketer. Now, not everybody is a marketer. Not everybody is a link sharer. Okay? Uh, and you don't have to be. That's the great thing about these passive income programs is you don't have to be a marketer. You don't have to be a link sharer. And uh, having said that, let me touch real quick on the people who are successful at marketing. Have you ever joined a company and just been like, man, I, I suck at this, right? Like I can't, I can't get anybody to sign up. Well, don't feel bad about that, right? Because there's only a couple of types of people who are successful on the marketing side of it. Number one is famous people. Right, one of the first MLM marketing companies I was a part of was uh, American Income Life Insurance. And you know who our top promoter was? A retired famous baseball player. Now let's, let's think about this, let's apply a little bit of logic here. Why would a retired famous baseball player be a top marketer in a life insurance company? 
because he's famous. Because he knows a lot of people. A lot of people like him. He's got a lot of fans. He's got a lot of followers. So it's easy. All he has to do is say, hey, join this life insurance company. Hey, we like you. We're going to join. You got to be famous or you got to be like a, a, a six, you know, six foot three, six pack abs, six figures in the bank, you know, Chad with the chiseled chin, right? If you're a guy or you got to be the, you know, Miss America pageant beauty winner if you're a girl. And if you are, you're going to have a lot of people following you. And guess what? You're going to be able to tell those people to do something and they're going to do it because they're attracted to you because you're beautiful. So if you're not famous, right, and you're not a movie star, good looking person, right, or you don't have a bang up personality, right, or you're not like seeping or got charisma pouring out you every which way, you're probably not going to be great at network marketing. Well, I got some good news for you. You don't have to be great at network marketing to join a crypto based passive income opportunity. And I got a lot of them for you to join. And they're right there in the description. Open up the description, check out the companies, find the one that you like, and sit back and watch your profits roll in. It's that simple, guys, and it's never been that simple before, okay? So, sorry about that, a little bit of a tangent there, but uh, really am, I, 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 just, I, I just hate the fact that there's a lot of fake gurus out there who are trying to take people's money and tell them that they're going to turn them into a great network marketer when that person is never going to become a great network marketer. Because there's just certain things that you have to have to become a great network marketer. Sorry. Sorry, guys. You know, spoiler alert. You know, truth alert. Sorry, not everybody's going to be a huge network marketer because not everybody has the tools to do that. Right? God gave one person this, he gave another person that. You might be funny, you might be able to go to a comedy club and crack people up, right? Or you might be an awesome, talented musician. You might be able to play the guitar and, you know, just do something awesome, right? And I can't do that, but you can, right? So let's enjoy the blessings that we have and don't try to be like, you know, something that we're not, okay? So, okay, I promise I'm gonna move on this time. Uh, so we're gonna move on to the next. Let me get this Novatech presentation back up just in case I get more questions about that. So let's move on to the next question, guys. All right. Uh, this next question is actually a statement. And uh, we're talking about uh, uh, Novatech and funds, F-U-N-D-Z, in this statement. Okay. And this is uh, interesting because this is, uh, I mean, we're going to have a couple of these, obviously, to talk about California. They're going to talk about Canada. They're going to talk about Russia. And for some context there, those are the latest states and countries that have taken these legal steps to get Novatech to leave, right? Leave or we're going to investigate you, right? And so what has Novatech done? They've said, hey, don't do business in these uh, these countries. Don't do business in these states because we just don't want to deal with it. Okay. Now, let's get into the comment. California state law has recently been targeting crypto. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll give you that. Yeah, that's true. Funds got the same letter that Novatech did. Canada is a similar case. Yeah. Those are both very, very, you know, those are uh, uh, those are places that believe in strong regulation. Right. They, and so any place that believes in strong regulation like that is going to begin to target these uh, crypto companies. Right. Um, just is what it is, guys. But and, and, but there are states out there who don't have a lot of regulation and who don't believe in regulation. You know, there's pro business states out there who don't believe in regulation. That doesn't mean it's not going to happen there, too. Right. Doesn't mean it couldn't happen under federal law. The federal law, you know, the states have to comply with federal law. So if the feds regulate crypto to the point where these type of platforms can't run in the United States anymore, and this brings me back to that last, that previous question, they're going to have no choice. But if they want to continue, they're going to have to do business overseas. There's a lot of companies that do that already. There's companies that I'm part of that I'm proud of that do their business overseas. Don't do business in the United States. That's okay. But what I want to see is I want to see Novatech survive and I want to see Novatech pull through. And if that means that they have to get out of the United States, then hey, that's what, you know, do what you got to do. Just don't, I don't want to see it die. I don't want to see it rug pull, right? I don't want to see it just fizzle out because, you know, slow pay 
eventually turns into no pay, right? Unfortunately, guys, slow pay usually eventually turns into no pay. I'm hoping that that doesn't happen, right? I'm really, I'm really hoping that doesn't happen, right? But if it does, it's not going to be the end of my world, okay? Because I didn't over leverage myself. I didn't put in more than I could afford to lose, right? All right, guys. Next up, why are bonus account withdrawals slower now? Mine took eight days to hit my wallet and I made it uh, on January 20th. First off, congratulations that you even got it, right? Because a lot of people who made, you know, who made their withdrawal back then still haven't gotten their bonus account withdrawal from back in January, right? So they are definitely slow. You're right. Um, the question of why they are slow, well, there's a couple different schools of thought on that. All right, now I've done a whole video on this, guys. And you can find it, just go to the videos in my channel and look at uh, a, a, a trader explains what could be going on at Novatech. Cause I am a trader, I, 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 you know, I, I'm a day trader, I trade daily and I make a, you know, uh, let's just say that I'm, I'm blessed, right? I, I, I do very well, right? And I'm not saying that to toot my own horn. I'm not saying that to come from a place of uh, arrogance or come from a place of pride. I'm saying that coming from a place of thankfulness and gratitude because I spent a lot of money to learn how to trade. I lost a lot of money while I was learning how to trade, right? And it took years, okay? Didn't happen overnight, guys. But having the knowledge of how to trade, I uh, made a video about, you know, from a trader's perspective, why these things are slowing down. And basically, just to summarize it for you real quick, man, it's like this. With trading, right, you're gonna get, you're gonna have uh, quick trades that are like minutes long. You're gonna have uh, intraday trades, which are uh, trades that take place during the day, and then you're gonna have swing trades, which take place over a matter of days or even weeks. And then you're gonna have longer trades that take place over weeks, months, and even years. So if Novatech has a lot of their money tied up in the trades, and they're having way too many people trying to pull out their trading accounts all at once and their bonus accounts all at once, they may not have the funds liquid. They may not have them liquid. They still might be in the trade. And so you don't want to close out the trade before it's profitable or else you're going to lose that money, right? So that could be one reason why they're slowing down and why they have slowed. Uh, another reason could be, and this is for all the, you know, all the conspiracy theorists out there. Another reason could be that it's just a big scam and it's just a big fraud and they're taking everybody's money and, and woo, and they're going to pull the rug and we're all going to lose our money. It's a possibility. Right. I mean, I don't have a crystal ball. I'm not. I'm not in the office with them. I'm not watching everything that they do. It's. A, it's possible. Uh, I don't think that that's what's going on. And the reason why I don't think that's what's going on is because why did they pay out the people in Canada? Why did they pay out the people in California? Why did they? You know, if they were going to pull the rug, why didn't they do that already? Why continue to pay people out when you're going through a hardship if you're going to pull the rug? Right. It doesn't really make sense. Like I said, I'm not a Ponzi scheme guy, but if I was, I would have pulled out in October. OK. Hopefully that answers your question uh, and thank you for the question. That's a good question. OK, uh, next one. I commend you. This is a comment. OK, I commend you for having the integrity to advise people not to sign up at the moment. Yeah, bro. Exactly. Why, I mean, why would I tell people to sign up? We're in the middle of a storm here. It's like in the middle of a cyclone. It's just not like, why would you sign up right then? No, I mean, if you want to be smart about it, wait until it calms down. And then if Novatech is still around and they're getting back on their feet, they're getting the bonus payouts back going, they're getting the trading accounts payout back going, the dust is settling, right? All of these cases are starting to, you know, kind of dissipate and we're the regulators quit coming after them. You know, the website continues to be up and running good, you know, uh, and things have calmed down a little bit, right? Then... At that time, right, if you're thinking about getting into Novatech, you know, invest some that you can afford to lose and only invest what you can afford to lose. Don't ever put money into any platform that you can't afford to lose, right? People put money into a platform, they see the returns, they start to get excited, and then they over leverage themselves, and then the platform collapses and they go, oh, ah, it was a scam. Well, maybe it was a scam, dude, but at the same time, you over leveraged yourself and you were betting the whole farm on this thing and you shouldn't have done that. You should have used risk management, basic risk management, and that's what I preach on here. Right? So, yeah, absolutely, man, and thank you for that. I appreciate you noticing that. Uh, so, let's get into the next one. For the Saturday bonus. 
Does the second person up that signed up get your matching bonus as well? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so let me kind of hit on that again. I think I know what you're asking here. So it doesn't have a limit to how many people you can sign up, right? So let's say that you sign up 10 people directly underneath you, okay? And you get your bonus on Saturday from their, uh, from their account growth. You get your check matching bonus. Let me get back to it here. Okay, here we go, check matching lifetime bonus. So you get 5%, right? So every person that you directly sign up underneath you, you get 5% of their growth every single week. Okay, and there's no limit. Now, when, when, when somebody signs up underneath them, when they sign someone up, then you get 2%, then 1%, down to 1%, 1%, down to 5%, 5%, uh, down to 0.25%, 0.25% goes down nine levels, right? Nine levels deep. So. There's no limit. You know, if you've got a thousand friends that want to sign up and they all want to do that, and you know, if you can sign up all thousand of them, there's no limit. You can become very, very profitable. Like I said, if you've got that marketing talent, right? You've got a lot of friends or you've got a lot of, you know, you're popular. You're like Drake when he sold out the club, right? It wasn't the club, it was the mall. Drake went to the mall and all of a sudden they, they had to like close the mall down. And that's how he, he first blew up back in the day for you Drake lovers out there. Drake would be great at network marketing. Because when Drake says to do something, there's a lot of people who are going to do it. All right, guys. Get back into these questions. So that's a good question, too. Yeah, there's no limit, bro. Okay, here's a question about crypto program. Let's talk about Ed Zimbardi. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, Ed doesn't do the arbitrage, advertising, etc. The anonymous company group does. He's the master affiliate above some others making and managing the platform project. Okay. Yes, Ed Zimbardi is the master affiliate. You are correct. You're absolutely correct. Now, this anonymous company, okay, let me just tell you something. I have a business, right? I have a company. I have an LLC where I do consultation services and I also do, uh, you know, advising for uh, healthcare, health coverage, and health insurance here in the United States of America, okay? And I own the LLC and that LLC has one employee. Guess who the employee is? So all I'm saying there is that you can have, yeah, you can have a company, you can be covered by a company and you can still, you know, that can still be your company that you own. I'm just saying, I'm just saying guys. Okay. You know, you know there, there you go. Uh, and, uh, uh, but, but, but you're correct. Technically Ed is the employee, right? He is not the company, a company and a corporation is a separate entity from the employee. Okay. So props to you for, uh, bringing that up. That is a good point. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, I love Crypto Program. Uh, right now, Crypto Program is one of my favorites. If you haven't checked that out, make sure you go into my description, open up my description, find the link to Crypto Program, click the link or copy and paste it into your browser and check it out. It doesn't cost you anything to click a link. It doesn't cost you anything to, to, to go to the Crypto Program site and see what they're doing, right? You can also look on some other, I do a lot of videos on Crypto Program. Love that thing. All right, next up. I did get my bonus for January 27th. Congratulations. So I got my bonus withdrawal for January 27th from Novatech on February 13th. My February 3rd withdrawal should be coming in soon. Yeah, I hope so, bro. We all knew the risks in this space. Amen. But I think if NT Novatech were going to rug, meaning we're going to rug pull and we're going to just, just leave and disappear like a lot of people think they're going to do. They would have done it back at the end of December. I, I think they would have done it in October, but yeah, before having to pay out to thousands of people who lived in places that were kicked out, right? To, and, and, and <laughs> they're giving me a jab there because I like to say that kicked out, they got kicked out of Canada, they kicked out of Russia, they kicked out of California. I know it's not a hundred percent true. I mean, they voluntarily chose to leave. Uh, to still be paying tells me they are really trading and trying to get back on, tr on track. It kind of tells me that too, bro. Yeah, I think so. Because, because look, man, there's a couple of things that tell me that. One is that they have a, a, a trading uh, academy, right? A trading academy that comes with Novatech, where if you're interested in learning how to trade, they teach it on the Novatech platform. 
So that shows me that they at least know about it. They at least know how to do it. And I've watched the videos. There's some good information on there, guys. There's some good information on there. Now, if you're really serious about getting into trading, uh, I want you to hit me up before you just join Novatech for the trading videos only because I think that there's better places where you could go for that, okay? But they do have some trading videos on there. They have some training videos. So that's another thing that tells me that, yeah, they could there, there really could be some trading going on in the background there. Okay, uh, and also, yes, I mean, they wouldn't have paid out those people if they were planning a rug pull. I agree. For sure. Okay, next up. Uh, now, here's an interesting one, guys, and I don't know what to really say about this one. Like I said, I, 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 I grabbed these out uh, randomly. Uh, but uh, let me just read it to you, and then I'll try to address it. This is, again, this is about Novatech, and it's talking about the California situation. Uh, don't take this to the bank. I don't know if this is true or not, so let me just read it, and then I'll kind of give you my thoughts on it. Okay, our group, which is one of the largest, had two update Zooms today. Well, good for you. I'm glad you have a group, and I'm glad that your group is one of the largest, okay? It's always good to be in a nice, big, large group, all right? Nothing wrong with that, right? Uh, had two update zooms two days. So you had two zooms in one day. Uh, man, I, I got so bored on those zooms, guys. I can't do it. I can't do it, man. Like, I, if I could say anything, <laughs> man. Look, I'm, I'm, I might get some. I, got, I might get some pushback for this, but man, don't bore me with a long presentation on Zoom. Just, just. You know, let me let me do a little bit of research for myself, and I'm good, man. Let me tune into BOJ, man. Let me tune into uh, I think his name is Crypto Croc, uh, Croc Crypto or something. He's a, he's cool too, man. Props to you, bro. Uh, let let me tune into somebody like that that I can just get the information from and not have to sit through a long boring Zoom. Uh, California actually is still active. This is what this guy said. Number one, California actually is still active. Uh, no, don't think that's right. Uh, they're still allowing people to sign up. Well, I believe that just because they don't have the uh, they don't have the tech support to stop it, right? So what they're doing is they're telling people not to sign up. They told people don't sign up in California. You can still do it, but you're going against what the company is asking you to do. Uh, a cease and desist was never served to NT. And the one listed on the California state site was never even signed by an official. So what? Right? Look, look, look. Well, let me tell you something, bro. If, if, if somebody were listing my name on a state site, I don't care if it's official. I don't care if it's signed. I don't care, man. If I go on the, the state of California's website and they say something about me, they got my first and last name on there. They got my company on there. Yeah, that's going to make me want to take action. And the action that Novatech took was they said, hey, let's get out before this gets any deeper. Right? Um, so, yeah, they're being proactive in kind of running away from it. Right? Is, what, is what's been happening. And like I said, and like you know, and I stick by this, eventually you're going to probably eventually have to stop running away. You're going to have to address this somehow. And yeah, eventually you're gonna have to beef up your tech support. Uh, I do give props, I give credit where credit is due. Their website is uh, operating a lot better now than it has been in the past. So I definitely give them credit where credit's due for that. Uh, but there's still a lot of work to be done. They've gotta get better tech support on the site. They've gotta get better uh, oversight with that. They've gotta get a support structure in place because as of today, they still have zero support. You can write a support ticket, you ain't gonna hear nothing back. They're not even answering the tickets, okay? Hey, sorry. Right? Is my truth a little bit too hard for you to swallow? Sorry. It's what it is, guys. That I'm not I'm gonna I'm gonna tell the truth here. Right? I'm not gonna be sugarcoating nothing. I'm not gonna come on here and be, you know, all one way or all the other. No, I'm gonna be fair. I'm gonna attempt to be fair, right? Of course I'm gonna have my own biases, right? But uh yeah, I think that they did say uh, but, and I'll, you know, and if, if you can show me some proof that they that this that what you're saying is true, then I, I will I will make a video with that proof. All right, that is my, I'm going to put myself out there. If you can show me some proof that what you're saying is true here, I will come on here and I will uh, say it on, on, on the video, okay? Uh, we were told that Cynthia and or Eddie are going to be doing a corporate live Zoom in the next couple of weeks. I don't even want to hear from Cynthia and Eddie at this point. I just want them to do some stuff, take some actions. 
I don't want to hear what you got to say because the last time I heard from Cynthia was at the beginning of the year and all I saw was a frustrated and, you know, defensive and frankly, an angry woman. That's all I saw, right? Who felt that the world was treating her unfairly, right? That her company was treating, you know, that, that you're treating her unfairly, that I'm treating her unfairly, that the state's treating her unfairly. Everybody's being unfair to her, you know, get out the violin. <laughs> Poor me, right? I'm the victim. Spare me that, right? I don't even want to hear from either of them right now. I want to see them make some moves. Okay. Uh, why would NT keep paying out all accounts in Canada and others that close their accounts as well as bonus accounts if they were really going to just collapse and close the doors? Well, I agree with you on that. I don't think they would. I think that they're trying not to collapse, right? And hey, I'm giving you some good advice, right? And, and the thing is, you know, you can, you can get mad at me, right? For not, you know, joining the, the, the cheerleading party, or you can listen to what I'm saying and make some implementations, right? That I think in the long run will be good for the company. Okay. All right. So yeah, man, look, listen, California is actually still active. I don't think that's true. Uh, they're still allowing people to sign up. Yeah, I can see that just because they're, that's poor management. Uh, cease and desist was never served. You're going to have to prove that to me. And the one listed on the California state site was never even signed by an official. I'm going to need some proof. Uh, so yeah, just send me some proof, man, that what you're saying is true, and, and I'll be happy to oblige you. All right, next up. Really would love to hear if people in California are signing up people from California. Well, <laughs> apparently they are. Uh, Novatech said they're not supposed to be doing that, but apparently they're still doing it. Okay, so take what you want out of that. I wouldn't do it, right? Frankly, if, if somebody asked me if they wanted to sign up right now, I'd say wait. I'd say wait, okay? There's a lot of places where you can be putting your crypto right now. Links are in the description, man. Check out these different platforms that are out there. There's a lot of great platforms that are not having these problems right now. Right, maybe, maybe put a little bit there, right? If you can afford to lose it, and if it's not, you know, you're not over leveraging yourself. <laughs> Here's a Spanish one. I told you these guys were random. I'm not. I'm not fluent in Spanish. Active los subtitulos. I think what he's saying there is activate the subtitles. Okay, man. Okay. I, you know, full disclosure here, guys. I'm making this video on my smartphone. <laughs> I'm sitting here in my house, you know, one of my houses. I own multiple houses. Uh, I have multiple properties. I'm sitting here in my house. And uh, yeah, and you know, as you can see, we don't have a lot of great lighting going on. The sun shining in and, and, and everything. And I'm, I just, dude, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just putting the information out there. Okay. I'm not polished. I'm not, you know, I don't have, I don't really even know how to activate the subtitles, but I will try to do that today. Okay, I will go onto YouTube today, I will search around down there, and I will see how I can activate the subtitles for you, my friend. Thank you for the comment. Okay, next up. I'm waiting on my bonus from January 29th. I had a 60K withdrawal from my trading account, my initial investment, and had to cancel it from 12-26-23. Yeah, you waited too long. But just put it back into earning, smart, while I try to get my 60K back by bonus account. I now have over 102,000 and making over 2,500 a week if I get them. Ah, oh, man, that's big money. Okay, here's what I hope for you. Okay, I hope that you did not over leverage yourself when you put in that initial $60,000 investment. Okay, that is, uh, you know, that means, uh, actually, let me pull up a calculator and I will give you guys some quick advice on investing. Uh, and not investing what you cannot afford to lose. Bear with me one second. Last time I did this, it was an epic failure. So let me make sure I've got the right calculator. I do. All right. So, Let's say that you had a million dollars. That means if you have a million dollars, you could have afforded a $50,000 investment. 
and you would have still been in the realm of affordability. Okay. Once again, not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor, but when you're doing trading and when you're doing investing, you should not leverage more than 5% of what you have in anything. Okay. It's just a rule of thumb. I know that not everybody's in a place where they can follow that. Uh, but once you get to a place where you can follow it, you, uh, you will be wise to follow that. 5%, guys, that's the number. You, you shouldn't put in more than 5% because you're just at that point, you're over leveraging yourself. So what I hope for you is that you had, you, you know, that you had your worth more, you know, definitely more than a million, right? Because a million would have been a 50,000, you know, investment and you invested 60,000. Um, you had to cancel it at 12, 26, uh, 23. Yeah, I, I did my, I, I took my withdrawal out in October. As soon as I heard about California, I went in and made my withdrawal. And I almost didn't get it. I, I mean, that was almost too late, right? So uh, I, re I withdrew a large sum of money back in October. And I got out. And now in Novatech, I'm just playing with house money. The money that I have in there now is growing. It just racked up into another rack, another thousand, and uh, which is great. You know, I'm loving it. I'm, I'm rolling it over. I'm keeping it in there. I'm even rolling over my bonus account money into the trading account because I'm keeping it growing. But it's all house money, right? Uh, my, my initial investment has been out for some time now. Right. And if, if, if you did over leverage yourself here and if Novatech doesn't pull through, then I would say let this be a life lesson. Right. Just let this be a life lesson not to over leverage yourself again. Right. But let me say something else. It's very important in this space and in business in general. The only losers are the ones who quit. Full disclosure. I've lost $60,000. Yeah. I've done that. You know, just for not being smart, you know, and over leveraging myself. So I hope that doesn't happen to you. But the point is, I didn't quit. I didn't give up. And, you know, I, you know, I am where I am today, which is in a, you, you know, which is in a good place. Right. I was, I'm grateful when I say that. Thankful when I say that. Okay. Hopefully you'll get them, man. I mean, like I said, hopefully this thing, you know, just, just, this levels out over the next few months. But at the end of April, we're going to, we're going to have another big, uh, we're going to have another big indicator at the end of April. If people are getting their accounts from, uh, or if the people are getting their money from their trading accounts at the end of April, Novatech says they're going to open up the trading account withdrawals again, first of April. So by the end of April, people should be getting their withdrawal from their trading accounts. If people are getting their withdrawal from their trading accounts by the end of April, that's going to indicate that Novatech is pulling through. If they don't, it's going to be yet another indicator that Novatech is going bye-bye. But we don't know yet, guys. We have to wait. All right. Here's another one. Oh, I know who this person is. Uh, by the way, Miss Anointed, I love you. Okay, keep on keep on posting your comments. I, I, I mean, they, they, they at least make me smile. Okay, uh, all these YouTuber, I think she means YouTubers, all these YouTubers that are still promoting Novatech better hope and pray they pay in April. Just like Metify Yield Exters people will sant their pound of flesh. The S is next to the W on the keyboard, so I'm assuming you mean want their their pound of flesh. So let me reread re that in English. All these YouTubers that are still promoting Novatech better hope and pray they pay in April. Uh, April, just like other failed uh, platforms, people will want their pound of flesh. Well, whose fault was that, Miss Anointed? Whose fault was that? Okay, I mean, did somebody lie to you when you signed up? I mean, if they did, I'm sorry that that happened to you. If they did, then it is their fault, okay? But at the end of the day, we are all responsible for our own decisions, right? If you over, like, and like I was saying to this last person, if you over leveraged yourself in Novatech, if you're taking a hit, if you're taking a loss, you've got two options. You can play the victim or you can take responsibility and move on, right? Now, let me just give you a little piece of advice. Uh, we all are going to come to a crossroads in our lives where we can either play the victim or we can make the decision to take responsibility, take it on the chin, take our licks, get back up and keep fighting, right? Which one do you think is going to have a better outcome and which one are you going to be, right? 
because what you decide in that moment is going to affect the rest of your life. All right, next up. Uh, I didn't receive my February 2nd withdrawal. Yeah, I mean, they're not even into February yet. They're still trying to get caught up for January. Uh, this is an another Novatech withdrawal. Uh, they promised they were going to start processing the bonus. They did it. If at least we were receiving our bonus, we could be careless about the trading balance. Uh, I disagree. The problem is they don't pay anything, neither weekly bonus or trading. Right, right now they're not paying anything, you're right. I don't know what they are waiting for to close their door for good instead of dragging their feet, giving people false hope. Okay, so I don't think that they're really like dragging their feet, so to speak. I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to salvage their business. Right, and like I said, if, they're, if, if, if a lot of their money is tied up in active trades, then they can't pull those out right now, especially if they're not in profit. So they're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place, right? They're waiting for their trades to go into profit so that they can pull them out so that they can keep this baby running, right? Uh, now, you know, if they were just con artists and scam artists, and if it were just a Ponzi scheme, then I would agree with you, and they probably would have closed it down by now, right? So what you're saying is that they are a Ponzi scheme, and they're so inept, and they're so stupid that they are dragging their feet. Well, you got to be pretty stupid for that. So I think you're, 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 you're giving them a lot of stupid points on that one. I don't think that any, well, I mean, I don't know. Maybe you're right. And if you are, I'll come back and say that you were. But I, I, I don't think that's the way that this is going. Okay. Um, now, from what people are telling me in the comments, they are starting to process some of those bonus, bonus withdrawals. I am getting people in my comments who say that they're getting their bonus withdrawals. So that's not true. Okay. That they haven't done that. They are starting to do that. Um, at least if we were receiving our bonus, we could be careless about the trading balance. No, no, man, no. You should not over leverage yourself, right? Don't be careless about the trading balance, right? Don't ever put anything into anything that you can't afford to lose because any of these platforms could disappear tomorrow, right? We're dealing with cryptocurrency here. We're dealing with the wild, wild west. This stuff is not regulated. And because it's not regulated, there are, listen, guys, there are platforms that are going to fail, right? You got to understand that, right? And that's why I think a lot of people try to oversell on the Zoom calls. They try to oversell when they're talking to their friends and family. And they try to act like this thing is just is, is foolproof and bulletproof. Nothing is bulletproof. All right. Hopefully that makes sense. Thank you for the comment. Uh, next up, great video. All the haters in your comments. Yes, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, I, 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 I do. Uh, you know, I know that th these videos are not like done in a professional studio or anything like that. But I do pr pr try to bring you guys some sauce. I try to pr bring you guys some content, and I try to bring you guys just uh, more than the average, right? The average. I really want to dig deep into these things, guys. I really want to do an X-ray. I come from a financial background. I've been in business for years and years and years, right? So I really want to dig deep into these things. I really want to really give you a serious objective view on these things and at least get you some stuff to think about. So thank you for that. Now, let me let me say this about the, the, the haters in my comments. Sure, there's going to be people who are just straight up haters. But I think that a lot of people in my comments are telling what they honestly believe, right? Like the people who say that Novatech's a scam, they really truly believe that. Right. Like I had a great interaction with a guy, uh, uh, another member of I am Academy. As you know, I'm a member of I am Academy. If you're interested in learning how to trade, go to I am Academy. The link is in the description. OK, I've been a member of uh, I am Academy for about two years, two going on three years. Uh, great program. Right. And he's another fellow member of I am Academy. And, and he really believes that Novatech is a scam and it's a Ponzi scheme. And so he said to me, dude, why are you stealing from these people? Right. And that's how he put it. And I, you know, I could have, you know, just said that this guy's a total hater, but I don't think he is. I think he's an honest, he honestly believes that the people at Novatech are stealing and that we're thieves, right, for being part of Novatech. Now, obviously, I don't believe that or else I wouldn't be in it, right? Uh, but I, you know, I had a great back and forth with him, a great discussion. And, and shout out to you, bro, if you're watching this video, man, shout out to you. Okay, I'm, I, 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 I don't have a problem. You know, if you come at me respectfully, I don't have a problem. If you start with the name calling and this and that and the other thing, then yeah, I'm going to say you're just a hater, right? Because name calling and ad hominem attacks are not going to do anything for us. But if you've got some, in, if you've got some interesting stuff to say, and you've got some serious criticisms, you know, man, I'm all for that. Go ahead and drop your comment. I don't care, right? I, you know, I can take it. The other people in Novatech can take it. Anybody who can't take it, guys, you know, that's just part of life. 
anytime you do anything in life, you're going to have people who, who disagree with you, right? That's just life. Uh, so, you know, shout out to you guys, man. Here's a, another one. Like I said, these were randomly selected. So this is a, now this is an attack on Cynthia. He says, uh, or he or she says, the, the reverend, in quotes, LOL. Um, Self-proclaimed. <laughs> well, yeah, listen, man, I, I actually, I'm going to go ahead and kind of agree with this one because uh, I, I think that, you know, don't, don't, don't give me the reverend stuff. I don't want to hear that. Right. Don't give me the, you know, I'm a minister. Right. I don't, you know what? Let me tell you something. If somebody's a minister, they don't need to say they're a minister. Right. Because a real ministry will, 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 will prove in itself. Right. You know, did Jesus Christ go around saying, I'm a minister. Hey, look at me. I'm a minister. I'm the Reverend Jesus Christ. No, man. He went around healing the sick, you know, doing good works, uh, doing, you, you know, the, the proof was in his ministry. Right. The, there was like power that was happening in his ministry, right? That's the proof of ministry, not, not, uh, not you know, giving yourself a title. Spare me, right? Spare me. I don't want to hear that, you know? And what that does is it, 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 it feeds into the true believer syndrome and the make-believe syndrome. You start out as a true believer, but then you get pulled into becoming a make-believer because you start to believe stuff that you shouldn't be believing. You start to ignore the signs. You start to ignore the red flags. I mean, right? Right? I mean, I mean, am I, am I making sense? Is, am I the only one that this is making sense to? Yeah, I, 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 I hate that too, man. I mean, I just, just, just spare me. I don't want to hear it. Right? You know what I mean? If you're, if, if you're a, a person of God, then your life is going to show me that. Right? And you, you could say that you're like a person of God and you might be, uh, you know, you might be just totally the opposite. And your life is going to show me that too. What did, uh, what did it say in the Bible? The, the, you'll know the tree. By the fruit. If the tree bears good fruit, it's a good tree. If the tree bears bad fruit, guess what? It's a bad tree. That's some secret sauce for you. You know the tree by the fruit, right? If something's bearing thorns and thistles, right? Probably not a good tree, right? If it's bearing good fruit, man, it's like, hey, man, this is great. This is a good tree. Everything that glitters ain't gold, people. Everything that glitters ain't gold. Next up. Uh, here's a funny one. Man, stop. That's the comment. Man, stop. Well, I could take that one of two ways, okay? Uh, let's say that you're saying that you like what I'm doing. And you're like, you're like, you're like uh, when somebody's in church and they're going, shut up, shut up, shut up. I mean, it doesn't mean that they're literally telling the person to shut up. It means like they're saying, preach it, brother. You know, they like it. They like it. So maybe it's like, man, stop, man, stop. I love it. Man, stop. Or maybe you're serious, man, stop. I, I can't stand you, man, just stop. Well, if that's the case, then no, I'm not gonna stop. Why should I stop? You know, I enjoy what I do, right? I'm, I'm not gonna stop. No, I'm not stopping. Got no plans to stop. Okay, uh, last but not least, this is a comment on Vortec United and uh, might need the calculator for this one. We'll see. Okay. The guy says, the only thing I dislike is getting 80% of your initial deposit back. So when you're, when you join Vortec United, you, you do a deposit, right? And then you have a specific return that comes in every day daily. And then you have a specific duration of time and then you get your deposit back. So 80%. So let's do some math on that. Let's just say I deposited a thousand dollars. Uh, and over the duration of my time in Vortec United, I five times it to $5,000. And then at the end of the run, they gave me $800 back. So now I have $5,800. So even though that's true, they didn't give me the full thousand back. I started with a thousand and I ended with 5,800. That, that, that sounds like a profit. That. That sounds like it might be a good thing, right? Man, I'm glad I did the math on that, right? You guys, if you want to find something bad about something, you can say something bad about anything. Like, oh, they're making money, they're making money, they're evil, evil. Like, everybody who makes money is evil. Well, look, man, if that's your mindset, then the whole world is evil. Every business you've ever been to is evil. That McDonald's that you went to get your Big Mac at is evil. Because they're making money. Must be evil. Thank you for the comment. 
All right, guys, this has been the Q and A. All right, I've been, I, 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 uh, let's see how this does. If you guys like it, let me know in the comment section. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Let me know if you like this, because if you do, I want to do these on a more regular basis. I enjoy doing it. I love to get the interaction with you guys. And as always, guys, take care, and we'll see you on the next video.